What does that mean? Run for it. That's run right. Run for it. We got to run the floor on some summer league action, and we're going to start with Marvin Bagley's performance. We're okay. going to start right there because he, he only took two shots. He scored one point. He turned the ball over twice in 29 minutes of action. So talk to me. What's the biggest flaw here so far? First off, let me talk to the Sacramento Kings as an organization. Uh-oh. Okay. Forget okay. his stats. You take a guy second in the, in the draft. Get the man more than two shot attempts when huh. he plays 29 minutes. Feature the guy, not these lame drop post-ups where they can zone up like you see, and he's crab dribbling 15 times to try to get a play when he's not strong <laughs> at all. He's still built like a toothpick. Ooh. Don't put him in that position. Get him on a move. Get him in some pick and rolls. Get him in some pick and pops. Get him in some drop action where he's getting cross screen. Dang, all right. Don't allow him to get exposed in a summer league game. Well, okay, so here, this dude's not Dang. a rookie. Uh, Derek Jones Jr. though has looked pretty good. You wanted him in run the floor today. Yes, I did. Why? What are you seeing? Because, oh! <laughs> That's why I wanted him in there. How about this, Beast? This guy's only played 52 NBA games, some of them with the Phoenix Suns and the Miami Heat. And you ready for this? He's 21 years old. Dang. And the thing is, he he's a player. He played one year at UNLV. He's a classic Miami Heat player, like Josh Richardson. These guys come out of nowhere, give you athleticism, give you effort. I promise you he's going to be playing quality minutes for their team. You saw it and heard it here first. Uh, Mo Wagner, double-double, 13 points, 13 rebounds, blocked four shots, said after the game his focus this summer is on proving his defense, Jalen. The young fella was on our fine program, and he let us know he got to work on the defensive end. We showed him get dunked on. He's like, no, we can't have that. And then all of a sudden, Bagley <laughs> dunks on him again, and then he starts to play defense. Four blocks, made a couple of threes, showed his versatility. I think he's going to be a prospect that not many are talking about for the Los Angeles Lakers because they made so many offseason moves, including LeBron James. But he's going to play quality minutes and be a factor. Yeah, he gets to just sort of peacefully ease in there without anybody talking about it. It's not a bad place to be. Uh, Lonnie Walker, solid game yesterday. 14 points, <clears throat> had a nice dunk. I know Spurs fans are all worried about that other guy, but does Lonnie Walker offer a nice, a nice beacon of hope? Lonnie Walker at Summer League celebrating his independence, knocking down the three from the wing, running the floor, getting up and down, showing his versatility in transition. He's a guy you're going to be really proud to watch, Michelle Beadle, because he's going to give you the effort. He's going to get steals. He's going to get blocks, and he's explosive. Yeah, but is he going to do all this, and then in years he's going to break all of our hearts? Well, because I can't do that. If he gives you a championship and wins Defensive Player of the Year, then we'll, we'll circle back about okay, that. Okay, we'll circle back. But we'll put a pin in that one. Finally, Trey Young. Now, he struggled again. He had 3 of 16 yesterday, 1 of 8 from 3, 6 turnovers. In the three games he's played, he's shooting 23%. At what point, I know it's three games. Yep. When do you start to have a little bit of concern, though? I don't have concern because here's why. We're showing Trey Young, but 98% of the world don't know who the other four guys out there are. Fair. So what ends up happening in these summer league games, you come in as the highly touted lottery pick, the team scouts for you. They're double teaming you. They're triple teaming you. And frankly, he's just not making open looks that I think once he gets used to playing at an NBA tempo, he'll start to make as he eases himself into his NBA career. Well, we're going to ease him in to run the floor right away mm -hmm. because we want to break down some of what you've seen so far issue-wise. Absolutely. I'll show you a couple of plays, Beads, that when you don't have a level of respect for his teammates, it's something that the defense can always do to a player to make them look bad. Now look at this. Trey Young, we talk about him struggling from the floor, right? Mm -hmm. I can't tell. The defense is up guarding him because they know that he can make a play. Now watch this. Little pick and roll action. Look at this. They're paying attention to him. Yep. Okay? Because they know he can't make a shot from out here. Oh dear. And he can't make a shot from out here. So now everybody's gonna Feature Trey Young, rightfully so on the defense. But watch this. He gets another pick. And before you know it, switch again. They're not allowing him to turn the corner. So in theory, you've seen three different players guard this one player mm -hmm. in eight seconds. Yeah. Okay? So they're doing a really good job of keeping him out of the paint and forcing him to play with his on his heels, as we call it. So now this is decision time. He's like, 
everybody's out of the way. <laughs> now I finally got room to cook. I'm shooting this. I'm shooting this. And you know what happens? He shoots a bad shot. Mm -hmm. A long two. This is the worst shot in basketball, especially from somebody that can shoot with range. Okay, so for Trey, again, it's gonna be having a level of patience, a level of discipline, and not take poor shots like he did on that possession. Now this next one, I wanna show you, is something that we showed a little bit earlier, but I wanna get into it a little more. Him and Grayson Allen, again, uh -oh. two first round picks, mixing it up. These guys trying to make a name for themselves. And here you see a little pump fake action right here, and they get tangled up. And before you know it, we got a little NBA situation. Now I wanna just talk about what a few of these guys are doing. <laughs> oh, okay, no. what is he doing? He's just waving, saying hello. He like, oh, okay, something's happening there. Now look at this. Something's this, this is the, and this is the last thing you ever do if you want to be in a fight. What is Grayson Allen doing? Not only did he got his hands in there, he got his back turned. Yeah, so he what is clearly he doing? doesn't want it. Now, I applaud big fella right here trying to intervene, but this is where it gets funny. This is where I start to laugh at dudes. Like, this is where it gets hilarious. Watch him. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's gonna end up all the way over in here. And watch yeah. what he does when he get there. What do you excuse want me, him to do? Excuse me, okay. excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. He's trying. <laughs> Hold me back. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. All of a sudden, he's more upset than everybody that was a part of it. He's not it. He's not tripping. He's not tripping. <laughs> but look at him. <laughs> Hold me back. Sometimes I the can't moment hits you, Jalen. <laughs> that he would do that to my guy. Look, look, still, look. He got, uh, he, look. Sometimes it takes a minute for your synapses to connect and you realize, oh, I'm actually upset about what just happened. It's not his fault. <laughs> it's a late feeler.